Can you tell us about a few of the positions you've held over the years? From uh, not uh, finishing university, working in David Jones was my first uh, real job for a few weeks and I didn't like that very much so I left it. Then I sort of went and joined the Australian Broadcasting Commission in Sydney in the dispatch department for a few months and then I got a job in the concert department. And then I went to Adelaide in 1964 for as concert manager of South Australia. Then I joined Don Dunstan's uh, Premier's department when he became Premier in 1970 and I became the first Director of the Arts in South Australia in 1981 for 10 years and then Senior Advisor for four more years when I retired and left in 95. So, Len, what is your definition of communication? Communication on several levels, aren't there? There's people communicating with each other. Uh, there's people communicating to a, a group of people, whether they're at meetings or something like that. There's communication of people on television or radio, getting a message over and communicating a message and being a good communicator, a good um, person who's on top of their subject. When I was growing up, we had no television, we had no mobile phones, we only had landlines, yep. um, and um, and we had and the only way people communicated were by phone or in meetings. Yep. So I mean, it's vastly changed yep. the means of communication, and I mean communication of people being able to communicate with each other overseas by flying yep. all around the world now in, in 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 hours is amazing. What was it like growing up in a musical family? Uh, a pretty amazing experience if you uh, have to listen to the, the, the saxophone every day for about 23 years, which is what I had to do. My father was a saxophone player, also a very fine clarinet player, but I mean listening to the saxophone being practiced every day and every day and my, my, almost you think it would turn you off music. But uh, no, he was a wonderful uh, musician and he encouraged me to love music and I think I loved it anyway. It was in the genes, I'm sure. To the melody of his theme, from me to you, Clive Amadio invites you to be his guest for another half hour of pleasant and distinctive music. I think nothing communicates emotionally better than music. I think music is one of the great hopes of the world, I think. Music is, is soothing, it's, 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 um, it's, it's exciting, it brings people together better than anything I can think of, in, yep. whether it be mass audiences out in big rock concerts or smaller audiences in concert halls or people just listening to music on the radio or in, yeah. on a DVD or CD yeah. player. Yeah. I think it's the great hope music. You know, I've developed skills as a communicator, I suppose, in dealing with the arts community, in dealing with ministers that I have to deal with, in dealing with senior people in the ABC, in dealing with my own staff. You've got to know how to communicate with them and keep, keep, keep them on side and look after them and make sure that you know, you're a good manager of, of people. People, people skills are very important to me. I've developed those over the years. Do you have advice for young people like us trying to break into the communications industry? I think the good thing is to become, first to become aware of what's happening all around your city and, and what's in the world. Read widely, read as widely as you can about what's happening. Um, watch and learn from programs on television, especially current affairs and interviews and things like how the styles of what people do. Um, you know, and generally learn amongst your friends how to communicate intelligently amongst each other and people who've got similar interests and be tolerant of people who, you know, have got different interests to you. So that's communicating in a way. Um, I think it's... I don't know, be, be sort of honest in what you do in terms of, um, you know, your relations with people, your relations with people and your workplace and fellow students. You have been listening to the Clive Amadio Half Hour, and now Clive bids you au revoir. This is your compere, John Chance, with our usual invitation. Be with us again next week. Same time, same station, for more music from Clive Amadio.